This is Carlos. We all know that Carlos is not the best hooper on YouTube and that he airballs a lot. Come here, son. Don't touch me. You must not hit me. However, the real question is how bad is this shot really is. In this video, I will go through all of Carlos 1v1 basketball games and determine his field goal percentage, keep track of all his losses and misses just to determine how bad his jump shot is. Carlos the Savage God as he calls himself played a total of 5 1v1 games. He holds a record of 2 wins and 5 losses. Out of the 5 1v1 games that Carlos played he attempted 94 shots but only managed to make 29 giving him a terrible field goal percentage of 30%. He has a 2 pointer percentage of 58%. Carlos scored 18 shots out of 31 attempted ones. What's even worse than his 2 pointer percentage is his 3 pointer percentage. Carlos in average shoots 16% from beyond the 3 point arc. In order for Carlos to make a single 3 point jump shot he has to try 6 times in a row. Throughout his one one games Carlos airballed 15 times he airballs three times per single game go side, go side. I don't think Carlos had any good games despite having two wins under his belt. In my opinion, his best game so far is when he played Jeff. Even though Carlos lost that game, he did perform relatively decent. He only airballed once, which is unusual for him, and he had a decent 3 pointer percentage of 42%. He shot 44% from the field and managed to score a total of 7 points. His worst game so far is when he played Iman. Even though Carlos had plenty of horrible games, I think this one is the worst by far. He shot 27% from the field, airballed 4 times and couldn't score a single 3 point jump shot despite attempting 9 times. He literally had a 3 pointer percentage of 0%. Iman obviously ended up winning by 10 points. Carlos lost 15 to 5. I think Carlos is highly entertaining and has potential to be a good hooper. He just has to be more consistent. I got nothing but love for Carlos. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe. It helps me out a lot with the YouTube algorithm. And don't forget to follow me on IG at 1v1 Highlights. I'm always trying to walk the line between us, so pay no mind to my pride.